Look at me. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to start by talking about how this all started and how people felt about this trip. Um, I remember starting going to the meetings on the Thursdays. I strode up quite late because I wasn't sure I was coming on this trip or not. But I know that many were quite hesitant on coming on this trip. But in the end, most of the people did show up, obviously, 32 people of us. Um, I do know that your goal wasn't going to come because one of his friends didn't come. But he did come to this trip and I, he did actually make many other friends with people he wouldn't expect to have friends with. Um, there, when we arrived at the airport, all in our uniforms, I thought it was quite, it was quite cute. And um, but I was, every, I see, I saw that everyone was happy. But at the same time, deep down, everyone was thinking, "What the hell am I doing?" Or like, "Is this going to be good? Is this going to be bad? What's Africa?" And I think most people were expecting Africa, as you see on the, you know, child adverts. But um, in the end, the long, long flight was quite an experience for many, many people like who haven't left Europe, like Jack. Or people, for example, it must have been Tyron, like Anki, who just came back from a 10 hour flight, which I thought was quite brave of her. Um, the first night on the campsite, the Unkula campsite, um, loads of people never slept in a tent or a sleeping bag before, and they must have thought, okay, this is a good start to my trip. I did think that actually, and I was quite, I didn't know what to expect after. On the Orange River, um, it seemed like a movie to me when we were um, when the boats left. One of those typical movies when you wake up and it's like, okay, the boats have gone. But um, in the end, <laughs> no. But in the end, um, I don't know. Was it? Did they actually leave? Was it? A, was it a joke? No. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was a joke at first, but I guess it. Okay, I guess not. But um, in the end, yeah, we found it and we solved the problem, which was quite good because, well, you know, we solved the problem. And um, I think the experience of being able to eat quite good food, well, really good food, on um, a river with wood fire and bucket food, was actually quite good, and I actually enjoyed the food. So yeah, thank you, Phil. No, not Phil. Who was it? <laughs> thank you anyway, but yeah, thank you. Um, I know some people like Maria didn't quite enjoy it at first, the food, and still does it now. But she's, she's eating, so that's good. And um, I actually quite like the food on fire. I won't cook food on fire in my garden, though. I don't think much people will here, though, anyway, but it was, it was good. I think that Doc was, did a good thing to team us up with different people on like the boats and the groups and the duties even though like many of us like got we were complaining to him getting angry at him and he just said yes i know i'm a hard bastard but that's just life but yeah it is life and i, I know it's life because in the end like i've been friends with people i never expect to be friends with and i was actually i know that in life you're gonna have to work with people or live with people that you're not going to accept and i guess it's the beginning of that um the rowing, I thought, was quite an adventure, 100 kilometers. I mean, well, that is quite wow compared to the last group. Um, I thought that Noel was quite brave doing the nappy thing. Big up, Noel. Don't know what the nappy, well, yeah, what no, it's called. Nappy run. Um, Una was really brave as well because it wasn't her fault that she did that. It's not that she's a bad swimmer or anything, but she just had a little bump that could have been anyone, that could have been me, <laughs> as dramatic as everyone. But um, I think that was good, and I think the river actually was a good good beginning for us because um, it proved to show that if you put your mind to things and if you if you really like want to finish something, we don't really have a choice. But like I wasn't going to stay in the river, or nor was anyone else going to stay. So in the end, it just proved to show that if you put your mind to things, you can do anything you want really in life. And that was a good start for our trip to show that we actually did something and we could end something now. Um, I remember the first wake up we had at 4 a.m. on the sand dunes. I really didn't like that. And I know that loads of people didn't like that as well. Um, it was worth it though, I remember. 
known that it didn't seem like four o'clock anymore, five o'clock when we got on, on the dunes and the view was really nice and I know that Relitza enjoyed taking pictures and so did Junius. Um, sadly for Una that fainted but she tried <laughs> but she got pictures as well and she, we have pictures of her. Um, <laughs> it's not funny, I'm serious. Um, what else can I Okay, the long walk in the dunes, that was not, that was not my, like, cherry on the cake or anything. <laughs> but as well as the ruin, I thought that, like, I saw loads of people complain and I complained. But in the end, it was just like, if you just don't continue walking, well, we're never going to arrive at the thing and we're never going to have lunch. We're just starved to death in the desert. <laughs> Un unlike Doc, unlike Doc, okay, I don't know, you, 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 didn't, you were never going to starve to death because you had the money to travel by taxi or whatever <laughs> next time we'll be doing that and you'll be walking i'm sorry to say um the sandboarding i never thought i'd do that in my life and i saw that loads of people were like quite hesitant about it at first that's why the guys went in front um i saw that some people actually they smiled with a natural smile it's like it was like the thrill of it and it's not one of those forced smiles you do when you like smile at the camera or something it was actually like in your body enjoying it and that afterwards i saw that i think it was noel felina and two other people you did it on and the lena and charlotte you did it on a full board that went well for the first 10 seconds I think. <laughs> and then but a boom that fell but you know you laughed still laughed even though um the line, I really did not like that. I'm actually not gonna lie, I was crying. Okay. <laughs> um, I know that Maria as well ended up listening to her iPod with fear under her duvet. And that, well, Hope didn't really, she's from Africa, so she's probably used to it. And Michael just was in his little dream, so who knows what he was dreaming about at the time. Um, one thing I did really enjoy, and I did, I didn't know I was enjoying it until well, after I said goodbye to the kids and I looked back on the pictures was when we went to visit the school. Um, I know that Sarah got really emotional about that. Um, but I think that seeing all the kids run around you, like smile at you, when they just have a little, a little bed, some of them don't have children, and unlike us, we can like just go to Cape Town and buy whatever, have an ice cream whenever we want, eat whenever we want, and complain because we're putting weight on but they're, they're not complaining for anything. Um, the backpack hotel the, and the hostel, um, I thought was really like nice. It was a nice experience, except the first hostel when Eamon and Jack Jaws disappeared. I mean, they could have died. Or, <laughs> but um, they came back alive and all the stress was relieved from the teachers, Mr. Panel and Doc, uh, Mr. Ma, Mrs. Ma in their room, so we don't know. What's going on there? But, um, it's yeah. It's okay, Mr. Um I remember seeing the animals at the water hall. I don't it was it was quite shocking. I remember being being like, is this is this a is a card or is it a picture or is it it didn't seem real to me. And like seeing all the people rush to like from window to window to try and catch a picture actually proved to show that many people did feel the same way as I felt because it was it shocking actually it's not it's not a zoo I'm still thinking it's not a zoo now but um yeah I thought that was amazing and seeing like <coughs> elephants come right literally like I don't know about two meters away from you that was that was really shocking as well was, I thought that was wonderful I'm always going to remember that I want to see elephants again 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 but maybe with someone else um the bushman um I thought that was weird, <laughs> but I liked it. I thought I thought it was funny, <laughs> and um, I don't know if they're real or not. Are they real? They're real. They actually live like that. <laughs> <laughs> or they're like they're like. Is it their job? <laughs> is it their job? Is it their job? That is yeah. That is their job. It's their job. Yeah. What 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 do you what do you have experienced them them dancing and that is their income? They, they, they live like that on the day. Yeah. Less of the time they basically <laughs> make the fire. They do. They go hunting, All right. uh, get the food from the bush. That's actually the most natural thing of them, is the food that they get from, from, from the bush in nature. 
Uh, they've got a lot of Western culture in them, in their ways of doing things. Uh, matches and smoking and all those things, cigarettes and alcohol. But getting their booze is just natural, yeah. They no. are real. All right, well, that was really weird. Because if you think about it, they're like living in the middle of nowhere, getting medicine from trees and making fires of like things, a way of talking. But um, I, thought it, I thought it was really cool. I thought, to be honest, I thought I'd never be able to live like that. Or like when I saw like all the girls making the bracelets and trying them on and that they were just doing it casually and we were, is that I think that in our head we were quite amazed by what they were doing, especially the boys with their little, how do you call it? Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow or trying them out. <laughs> Some girls as well. I think Relitzo and Una got one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that has to be framed, I guess. Um, the bicycle ambulance, well, I think it was really good that we were able to see the bicycle ambulance because um, I wouldn't have liked to give money and not see what we're giving money to. And so it was quite a reasonable thing and that we were able to stay there and not just visit and leave and drive a long way to get a campsite. But yeah, loads of people had rides on it. Michael's going a bit crazy on that one. Um, he maybe should get one for himself in London. <laughs> you know. The coming up to the talent show, um, I really enjoyed that. I laughed. I laughed a lot. Um, start with Mr. Pennell. Always so serious with his acts. I thought that was yeah. Well done, Mr. Pennell. It was really, it was really good. Um, but I don't. I don't. Well, I don't know why he put the nappy on. <laughs> they, they don't wear nappy. <laughs> um, but it suits you, don't worry. Um, the Bieber brothers, that, I don't know, guys like Michael and Jan would be able to go so gay into their acts. But, but it, it, it was good, it was good, don't worry. I, I loved it. I'm going to have to watch the video again. Um, the magician, me, Maria, and Relitza. Kind of failed, but it, it was fun. It was fun to like act it around and try and do a sort of magic trick. The one, the one act I really liked was the poem that um, Sarah helped me out. Sarah did it. Felina did it. No, you didn't do it. Yeah, you no. did do it. Yeah, Nila did it, and Noel did it. Um, I really liked that. I was getting quite annoyed with Barry though, who kept interrupting. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Una's beautiful voice, always, never, I love it, I love the song by the way, you're going to have to sing that to me to bed, because that, that, was, that was nice and I think loads of people were like, you had the big silence, so I think if people didn't like the song they'd like boo you off stage, but it was really good. Um, then we were interrupted by two naked, <laughs> maybe handsome boys, I'm not so sure how to call them. It was Michael and Yugor, yeah? Yeah. Um, brave, brave thing to do, I think. I wouldn't do that though. And then the drunk people, which was funny to babysit, some to smell, some to Stop. act, some to watch. But um, um, I just don't know, I don't know if I should talk about Oscar. Oscar, I love you, Bombay man. You know I do. <laughs> he he he's just just different. Um, but he's the best. And I don't know. I just basically talked about the trip. But you should try and understand what I'm trying to say is that basically everything we've done has gone really fast, and and it just seems like it it's. It was like a movie that has ended in an hour, because like, <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> it was just really good, and uh, well, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we realised that we can do things we in life that we wouldn't expect we'd be able to do. We can live with people we never expect to live with. And we can do anything we want in life, no matter how hard or how easy it is. And so yeah, TI, that's it. <laughs>